The coloration of metal bath salts can make using a color indicator for titration difficult, since the titration's color change may be very subtle and easily masked by the plating bath's color. Using the HANA HI5222 laboratory grade benchtop meter takes the subjectivity out of determining the pH endpoint, making your manual titrations easier and more accurate. The HANA HI5222 two-channel meter does more than just titration. It also has a wide range of features. Fully featured pH meter. Support for a full range of ion selective electrodes, ISEs. Powerful logging capabilities up to 100,000 data points. HANA Instruments comprehensive support and training. To perform an acidity titration, prepare your sample by volumetrically measuring it out and adding deionized water to submerge the electrode. Distilled or RO water works as well. Next, we'll fill a burette with our titrant of one normal sodium hydroxide. Be sure to record the starting milliliter value on your burette by looking at the meniscus. We'll put the sample on a magnetic stirrer, add a stir bar, and begin stirring. It's important to constantly stir throughout the titration. Now, we can begin titrating with the sodium hydroxide titrant to the endpoint of pH 8.2. We do this by opening the stopcock to dispense the titrant. We'll add the titrant in larger quantities in the beginning and slow down as we approach the endpoint. The titration is complete when the pH meter displays pH 8.2. Now, we'll determine how much titrant we used and perform the calculation. Reading the meniscus, we can determine exactly how much titrant we used by comparing the amount of titrant in the burette before and after titration. We used 1.4 milliliters of titrant. To calculate acidity as grams per liter of hydrochloric acid, multiply the milliliters used by 18.2. We hope you have enjoyed this video. For more information, be sure to contact us or visit hannahints.com.